Okay, so what's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode two of the Strike Heights podcast. I am Jaren Heights, Strike Warrior. Say what's up? Strike Heights! <laughs> so, like I said in the previous episode of the Strike Heights podcast, if I am ex- in the exact same clothing and the exact same LED lighting, Probably because we're going to be recording. Uh, multiple in a row. Yeah, multiple in a row. <laughs> we're just, we're kind of on a roll. It is 3.50 a.m. where we are. We are absolutely psychotic. We're going to pay for it when we wake up, but what can you ah, do? Screw it. So, this one's very simple. It is going to be an all-time NBA draft where we will pick, to start, we will start with a coach, and then we will go through rounds uh the first five rounds will be just our, basically our starting five and then we'll do a six man mm-hmm. to make it super easy um it'll be strike warrior with the first pick um so to start it off we're just going to get right into it it will be um, coaches a, round the coaches round it's going to be a a draft of all uh current and legendary NBA players included. So, with that being said, Strike Warrior, you are on the board. Who is your coach? I feel like there's no other candidate. I guess you probably could make it. He could make a case for Phil Jackson, but yeah, I ain't about that. <laughs> Give me Monsieur Greg Popovich as my head coach. Nice. Greg Pop. It's one G, right? Greg Pop. Pop. <laughs> Just call him Pop. Sure. That was a great one. To start it off. All right. Let's the see what round. the coach for Jaron Height, the team Jaron Height. So. Who will coach this squad? I was thinking Phil Jackson. Um. Just kind of makes sense with all the titles and everything. But you did say it earlier. There was only one guy that I would pick for the Lakers' job, or in just in, in this is me speaking like other than Phil Jackson. If I had the choice, there's only two guys I would be like, in my opinion, could probably do the the same, you know, be as, as successful as Phil Jackson was. That would be Popovich and my pick, Coach K. Ooh. Awesome. He was actually offered the job some years. Hey, he was back, good for the, the Olympic. He's been good for the US Olympic teams. Oh yeah, he's 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 an awesome coach. So Popovich yeah. and Coach K will be our coaches. So that is All right. Muy excelente. You've got oops. The first, first pick. pick. All right. So With the first player. On Team Strike Warrior. Eh. I feel like there's not really much you can't say about a guy when it comes down to a conversation that all people have, Hmm. which is the GOAT conversation. Now, like, yes, LeBron's great and all, I am stalling because I'm trying to type in something at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron's great. Yeah, we'll probably do a video about who we think the GOAT in the NBA is. That'll but be coming soon. For I sure. s- Kobe, rest in peace. He's up there for me. But there's no one else other than... I don't know if this is going to come Earl through Boykins. or not. <laughs> Sign, sign. Give me the original two three from from North Carolina and the Chicago Bulls. I don't. Okay, I hope we don't get copyright from that. No, you're good. But <laughs> <a few> seconds. <laughs> we have to cut, possibly cut that out. <laughs> Give me Michael Jordan to be my great starting pick, two guard. Great pick. 
as a good pick. So with my first pick in, and the second pick in round one, uh, I, again, we'll get into this um, probably deeper uh, as the podcast Wait. episodes continue. Um, but I'll share a little Especially. nugget. Share a little nugget with you. Um, personally, uh, I do think Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player I've ever watched with my two eyes. Um, when it comes to basketball opinions, I'm not very, uh, I try to stay out of the biased, um, wheelhouse, uh, in terms, in terms of actually giving people, pro- people props and saying who the best is. I do think Michael Jordan is, is the greatest of all time, just from what I've seen. Um, I feel like it's kind of like, it's kind of a given. Uh, we do also obviously have the longevity of LeBron. Uh, and there's some, some things that, and the uh, fear of playing against Kobe Bryant. Yeah. The, um, the longevity of LeBron, I think helps him in the, in the end. Um, but I, I still think he has some things to do before, uh, he could surpass Mike, but I always talk to, talk about this with anybody I have the goat conversation with. When it comes down to it, yes, I think Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time. But if I am put into a position where I get first pick, um, and even if I did have the first pick, my pick would be the same every single time. Um, It's super easy for me. There's only one player I think of when I really think I'm going to start my team with this guy. And we're going to have the best opportunity to win because he's going to go out there every single chance he gets to absolutely demolish whoever he goes against. Um, So not necessarily, in my opinion, the best player of all time. But even if I was given the first pick in any uh, NBA draft, I'm picking him every single time. Self-explanatory. Give me... Kobe Bean Bryant. Mm, rest in peace to the Mamba. My and personal, baby Gigi. personal favorite, man. <laughs> so, great first round. Great coaching round. Definitely. Um, round two. All right. Now, borderline. We, we, you guys probably hear my take on the goat conversation when we get to when we get to that video but let's get who i possibly think the greatest small forward to ever play the nba is and that is the, the king of akron lebron james dang it <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang it no yep. And as you can tell, I'm not scripted. <laughs> I'm not scripted. I'm picking these these at random. <laughs> but yeah, give me the Akron Hammer, as Basketball Reference says is one of his nicknames. <laughs> uh, the kid from Akron, LeBron James. That is a absolutely fantastic pick. So... Something we possibly would talk about in that GOAT conversation. To me, there's three guys I choose from every single time when we talk about GOAT. And those guys are on the board already. So, (laughs) it makes it very easy for me because there are certain players that uh, are in the top 10 lists, depending on who it is. Um that you would be like, this guy has to go here. If he doesn't go here, you're not right. And that's fine. But this is my list. entirely our opinion. This is garbage. This is entirely our opinion. Please do not hate us. If you do hate me, it's okay. (laughs) It's okay if you hate (laughs) me. Because I will just have my next pick, slam it on your freaking melon. (laughs) Give me Mr. Shaquille O'Neal. Ah, (laughs) the big diesel. Prime Shaq mixed with uh, Prime Kobe once again. Mm. Ah, I forgot you were a Lakers fan for a second. I was about to say, <laughs> wait a minute. 
Something ain't right. <laughs> so you are now officially on the board for round three. All right. Well, we're probably going to need a man who can really stretch the floor here. Now, I already see the comments or the angry expression you will be giving yourself when you look at, when you hear this, but honestly, I don't really care. Hmm. Point guard, and give me the greatest shooter in NBA history, Mr. Wardell Stephen Curry. It's a great choice. It was actually going to be my next choice, to be honest with you. Fantastic choice. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. He's done so much. Especially if the Warriors go to the fi win, go to the finals versus Miami or Boston this year. Mm -hmm. Dude, I even... And as the recording is, I haven't checked who won that Boston... I mean, that uh, Warriors map game today. I did not check. <laughs> I did. I think... <laughs> I didn't even check yet. I think it was the Warriors because I last last I looked, the Warriors were up by like 17 at ha going to the half. So I honestly would see Steph as the the MVP of the postseason so far. I'm not mad at that. But yeah, he gets the uh, the first ever uh, Western Conference MVP thing that they're doing. Does he? I don't know. I. I'm looking at it right now, but <laughs> I'm trying to look it up right now to find out who won that game. No, they won. Warriors won? Yeah. All right. The Warriors. Ooh, that'd be good. That'd be good. <laughs> good. So, uh, how we'll do it. We did this in the superhero draft um, as well. So, you got coach, first, second, and third round first pick. When we switch to four through six, uh, I'll, it'll switch. So, I'll get first, and then you'll get the second in that round. Um, do, do, do. So my third pick, I was, I actually was going to get uh Curry uh, cause I thought that would have been a good dynamic for Shaq and Cobes, but there's another guy not very liked amongst the NBA community. Most people. And in, in terms of not play style, but personality. And I could not love his game even more when he was injured and we couldn't watch him. Similar to when certain um, of the greatest NBA players are in, on the tail end of their career or if they're hurt and you can't watch them and people really don't appreciate their game. When this guy was hurt the past couple of seasons, past, yeah, dang, past probably three, three seasons at this point, and I couldn't watch him play basketball. I've appreciated his game so much more. And I'm not, not necessarily my favorite person on this earth in terms of like personality. There is some things that I do agree with that he does though. Um, but a sniper, he can put it on the floor. He's for sure seven foot. And I don't know why he's listed like he's not. Uh, but let's get uh, Kevin Durant on the team. Oh, Kevin Durant. Damn, that Jordan, is... Shaq and Cobes. Yikes. What's funny is Durant was probably going to be my, sec my next pick. But then I remembered there's an absolute... Let's just say freak at, at, at the power forward position that we can easily play. Hmm. And I'm going to just jump straight to it. What's my pick? Give me Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's my pick. If I butcher that... If I butcher this, I give up. I want Giannis. <laughs> give me Giannis. I will fight. I will fight you <laughs> for Giannis. <laughs> but it's round four. So I'm gonna. It's actually my pick first. Remember. Oh god damn it! But screw <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm just saying, Giannis. <laughs> just give me Giannis. Not. I will be vibing for eternity. <laughs> I say this so... as I'm literally just petting my dog. <laughs> Fourth pick for myself. 
I want Giannis. Ugh, we will, I will throw hands for Giannis right now. <laughs> I will throw absolute hands. Ugh. Taking a look at some of my favorite players of all time. There is a guy that I want. I just don't know if he fits how this team should be built. So we're going to have to make a switch. I was going to pick Ooh. Hakeem. Oh! I was going to pick Hakeem and put him at the four and have him and Shaq just be freaking towers of terror. Oh, dear God. <laughs> but I'm going to oh, throw it to another power, an actual power forward. And we're going to put him right next to Shaq and KD. He can stretch the floor just a little bit. Give me Mr. Dirk Nowitzki. Oh, Dirk and Dirk. Ugh. <laughs> Make sure I spelled that right. Oh, a Z, dude. Yeah, you already know who I'm picking here. <laughs> Rob Wiggins? It's it, huh? <laughs> it's no secret. Just hand me, Giannis. Monsieur Giannis Antetokounmpo. I think that's a hundred percent warranted. Some people might not like that, but honestly, yes, I get it. I get it. People, Giannis has won two what two MVPs, defensive. Multiple defensive player of the years, first team All NBA selections, Finals MVP, NBA champion. Guys, there's really like two options here. You're either taking an athletic phenomenon, possibly the best player in the NBA right now, and he's only 27. <laughs> like, come on, he's young. Or you're getting like a fundamental guy like Kevin McHale, but like, come on. <laughs> I take Giannis like all day. So this one's going to surprise you probably. Um, so let me recap real quick. Uh, Team Strike Warrior is coached by Greg Popovich, Michael Jordan, LeBron, Curry, and now Giannis will join the team. And then Team Jarrett Heights as of now is Kobe, Shaq, Kevin Durant, and Dirk. As you can tell, I am missing a point guard. Now, something we could probably get to again later in certain episodes of the podcast, but as a Lakers fan, you would ex assume that I would like certain players. Like, my <laughs> showtime. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this player. <laughs> Clippers are better. I am not a fan of this player whatsoever. Um, Lakers fans, you can say whatever you feel like. As a Lakers fan, I am not a fan of this man at all. But just because I'm not a fan of him does not mean I do not recognize the skill that he has, and I think he fits his team pretty good. So, my fifth and final pick for my starting lineup, Mr. Magic Johnson. Mm. Not going to say I'm not surprised about this. Because I'm not. But, uh... Honestly, I've been avoiding this position so far, just because I, I, I legitimately don't know who I'm going to put here. There's so many good options left other than Shaq. There's Hakeem, like you said. Mm -hmm. There's guys like the big fundamental, Tim Duncan. There's David Robinson, Kareem, Wilt. There's a lot of bigs out here. But I am a very God damn it. simple person. And yes, it would be cool to see Wilt, the stilt, match up against the Diesel or Kareem. But honestly, the guy that gave Shaq the most trouble in his career, I think he even said this himself. Uh, don't don't quote me on this. But give me Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon. I'm pretty sure you're right. 
pretty sure I remember him saying that. I just looked at my list and realized I should have picked someone. <laughs> uh, but I could probably switch them. Because we have our six-man pick here. So Hakeem will round out your starting five now to finish off. Six-man. Which is interesting because... We have all basically all positions filled out. Um, trying to think who would fit this team. I feel like I need to get a little bit more athletic because of Dirk's slow ass. Mm -hmm. But because this is a six man pick, I feel, yeah, I do feel like we need, or I need personally. Someone that can play multiple spots and be a little bit athletic. Um, shoot, this is tough. This is actually very, very tough. But I'm going to go ahead for my six man pick. I'm going to pick someone that can play multiple positions. But he's a big. So he can play the center or the power forward. My six man will go ahead and be Mr. Tim Duncan. Who I should have placed I should have I was should have picked him instead of Dirk. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. Tim Duncan, welcome to the team. Beautiful. I actually thought that's who you're going to pick. Good. And then to finish it off, it is your shot or your six man. All right. For my six man, um, I feel like you got a lot of scoring talent on this. But never hurts when you get one more guy that can at least score and play and play defense give me the flash Dwayne Wade nice. as my six man I know you I know people I never I didn't say Larry Bird Larry <laughs> Bird was not oh, mentioned sheesh. once I forgot about him <laughs> I even joked about Kevin McHale or Deal with it. <laughs> I ain't, Good. So, I ain't. <laughs> in closing, Team Strike Warrior, coached by Greg Popovich, is Michael Jordan. Oops. Okay. Team Strike Warrior is coached by Greg Popovich, and the team is Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Stephen Curry, Giannis, Hakeem, and D. Wade. And then finishing it out, Team Jarrett Heights is coached by Coach K, Kobe, Shaq, Kevin Durant, Dirk Nowitzki, Magic Johnson, and Tim Duncan. So, with that being said, just like episode one, Hit up the comment section. Let us know who you think won the draft um, for this episode. Um, and also give us your personal picks uh, and who your team would be on, in the comment section as well as on Twitter. With that being said, that has been episode two of the Strike Heights podcast. We will see you guys on the next one. Deuces. All right. See you.